Whether you know someone with autism or if it has impacted your life, our next guest is here today to share a medical breakthrough that is changing the lives of people living with autism. Dr. Suzanne Goh practices here in San Diego and is recognized as an expert in the treatment of children with autism. Thanks so much for being with us today. It's such a pleasure to be here. This is Thank something you. that's near and dear to me because my twin brother has autism, and so I've grown up with this and seen it evolve. And, and what you're talking about is really interesting. You have this uh, exciting new medical breakthrough. Yes, um, I'm really happy to be here to share it with you. Um, I've been a researcher and a neurologist in the field of autism for many years. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important things to happen in my career was about five years ago when I met a young boy. Um, back then I was the director of the Columbia University Autism Clinic in New York. And it was there that I met an eight-year-old boy named Jake whose story I'd like to share with you. Yeah, please do. Uh, his mother, like so many other parents, was seeking help for her son. And he has a condition called autism with mitochondrial dysfunction, which is being recognized more and more and diagnosed more frequently. And now. this is uh, the little boy's mother here. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. That's Michelle. And so what happened at that point? You've, did, did, how did the light bulb go off, if you yes, will? Yes, well, this area of, of study, mitochondrial function, has really been an area of very active research recently. Now, the mitochondria, which most people haven't heard much about, are tiny, you can think of them as tiny batteries inside nearly every cell of the human body, and they give the body energy. So when the mitochondria aren't working well, it's very hard for the brain to function and develop the way that it should. Okay, so there's a diagram. So what can be done to help people with this condition then, in addition to autism? The good news is that there's a tremendous amount that can be done. First, there are simple tests that can be done in blood or urine that any doctor can order. Uh, and there are therapies, and they are not medications, but rather vitamins and other nutrients uh, that can help the mitochondria to function properly. Now, there are many different ways that mitochondria can be impacted, and some of the most important research is actually happening right here in San Diego uh, at UCSD in the laboratory of Dr. Bob Navio. Mm -hmm. And it's been exciting for me and some of the families in my clinic to be involved in that research. Okay, tell us why we're seeing these. We see these uh, supplements here on the table, yes. and a little glass of juice, and then a bottle that it comes in. What does that represent, Some, yes. what they take? That's right. Okay. So one of the challenges for children, um, even if they've been diagnosed with this condition and we know that the therapies are likely to help them, it can be a, a real challenge to take in sometimes dozens of different pills and liquids that may be needed. And researchers at Johns Hopkins University have been very um, active and have really led the way in testing different combinations of nutrients. And so uh, this particular supplement um, called Mitospectra is one that I helped uh, to develop. Jake, the boy that I told you about, his mother um, happens to have a very strong background in pharmaceutical development, and she made it her mission to create something that he could take easily. Uh, we knew that he benefited from these uh, when he started to take them. He had improvement in social communication and language. Uh, when he didn't take them, uh, because it was very hard and challenging to take, he had a decline in loss of skills, which, as you can imagine, was very alarming to me now, and his parents. Now, I'm, I'm no doctor, and, and mo most of us are not. How would you explain in layman's terms, then, what it does? So you take this supplement. What does it yes. do? So it gets into the bloodstream and to the brain and helps the mitochondria inside of neurons to have uh, the energy, to produce the energy that the brain needs to grow and develop and function. And that's what causes people with autism or this um, mitochondrial condition to function better? That's right. More it's, socially? Is that really that's the, the right. goal? That's More social engagement, um, better language and communication, and even better motor skills. So it can have very broad effects. No, because certainly because the, the, the whole spectrum for autism is so varied. Yes, yeah. yes. So depending on the individual, there may be different benefits. And it's important to know, too, that not all individuals respond. So it's important to have the right testing done and to be working closely with a doctor. So how can people get in touch with you? And when you specialize in children's, so if there's people out there who have kids yes. and are interested in asking more questions. Yes. So um, I have a clinic here in San Diego in Sereno Valley where we provide comprehensive multidisciplinary treatment programs. So therapy that focuses on getting the right vitamins and nutrients is one important part and can be very powerful, but there are lots of other aspects to a comprehensive program, and we work hard to provide all of those language therapy, sensory motor therapies, even music therapy and behavior intervention, um, and we see children make incredible progress every day. Okay, Dr. Suzanne Go, thank you for coming in and explaining it. Thank we you. appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. All right.
To learn more about Mitospectra and autism treatment, visit uh, mitomedical.com or email the address on your screen. That's info at mitomedical.com. A phone number is also listed. It's an important breakthrough in helping those with autism and that condition. Still to come, 